Hello YouTube, we are back again with a, another video in our DIY speaker series. This is a cool DeWalt case that we have decided that we're going to cannibalize and turn into a portable speaker. The reason why I like this is it has a nice handle on it and it is very rigid. Now the cool thing about this is I got this at Goodwill for $2. There's nothing in it, it's just a flat box, but if you take a look problem with this is there's all this plastic in here and you're gonna have to remove that plastic now you can do that with a couple different ways you can use that with like a Dremel tool the only problem with the Dremel is you have to go slow enough to make sure it doesn't melt uh, if you go too fast you're gonna melt it and so that can become quite uh, pro problematic or quite problematic and so another thing you can do is a utility knife I had this I just put on a new blade Blades of gut from Walmart for like 97 cents or something. They're, they're Stanley blades. You can use anything, just any type of multi-purpose blade. Now, all you want to do, if you use this, which I would rather do, is you just slide this down underneath. And you work your way. You can slide it a couple times if you want to, to like start getting some traction in there. But once you start getting enough traction, you just slide it under. And you'll see the blade actually goes through on both sides. And then you'll just kind of push it along. And it really is not that hard to do, especially after you get some work in it. You can saw it if you need to, whatever. Um, and that's it. And once you get done, or once you get to an edge, you're going to need to start cutting the other way. Now you see, like I just removed that fairly easily. I'm not going to remove the whole thing because I'm not going to waste your time by making you watch that. Now if you do notice, some of it... Like this isn't flat. So like let's say we wanted to lay something there and it's not flat. I'm just gonna just take a knife and just go over there very gently. And it'll slice right through all of that. Okay? So there you go. Start seeing. Now it's all flat. And that's what you're gonna do. Now as we go through this DIY speaker build, one of the things that you're gonna find out is we're gonna start talking about internal dimensions. You're gonna see a lot of people have built these. And they're just going to throw speakers in there. Problem with that is when you just throw speakers in there and you don't actually do any internal calculations, um, what speakers will sound good and what what type of volume, you're going to get speakers that sound really, really bad afterwards. And so as we walk through this, we're going to show you what speakers we chose and why, and we're going to show about internal calculations and and what we need to do to make sure everything sounds good and doesn't just look good. And when we are done, we are going to have a very nice portable man style Bluetooth speaker